Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Beard's Opinion. So, I was headed home, well I was about to leave work, not headed home yet, and uh, I walk out of my work, get out to my van, and there's another van sitting there, right next to mine, and uh, I was pissed. I walk out. And the guy that was driving the other van wasn't there, luckily, because I would have said something to him. But he had parked super close to my van. I'm a big guy. So I'm not in a little room to get in. I was able to squeeze in there, but I had to push his mirror in. And I just left it. I was pissed. I wasn't going to fix this mirror for him. <clears throat> but I pushed his mirror in and squeezed by to get in. And I'll show you a little video clip. All right, I'm about to leave work, and I'm kind of pissed because I come outside. As you can see, this is my van. This is somebody else's van. I'm a big guy. I come out from work, and they're parked, like, almost on the line. Their back tire is, like, almost touching the line. I'm supposed to try to squeeze into this gap here. And as you can see, they really don't care because their freaking passenger door is bashed in anyways. Probably from parking too close to somebody who's trying to get in their car and leave. And walk over here and look. Oh, look at all the space they left themselves to get out of when there's nobody parked next to them. Really, people? What the hell? Thank you for making my Friday a great day. Showing you how close he was parked. His back tire, pretty much on the line. I mean, just like a couple inches from being on the line towards my vehicle passenger door is bashed all to hell so I don't know if somebody else got pissed and smacked his door or if he got hit by somebody or what but it was smashed in pretty bad and my guess is he got in a wreck but just so happens to be right there next to the passenger door right by the driver's side door and he parked there and on the other side of the vehicle he gave himself a whole car space like parking space plus probably another two feet to be able to get out of his car thanks thanks for being a jerk thanks for being that d-bag that freaking doesn't know how to drive or park his vehicle and uh making everybody else's day just a happy day thank you kudos to you for being such a awesome fella Anyways, Beard's opinion, don't be a jerk. Don't park like that. Don't be a, a D-bag. We've already gone over the whole parking thing before. Just don't do it. Be good. Be kind. Treat people right. Karma's going to come back for you, dude. I mean, it looked like I already had once because your passenger door was smashed all the hell. Why would you jinx yourself again? It's going to come back. Somebody's going to get really pissed and do something to your car. So don't be that way park like a normal human being and stay within the lines love you guys you guys have a great day how was father's day by the way my father's day was good got to have breakfast with my dad it was a good day <clears throat> love you guys be kind stay bearded <laughs>